welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another vintage sewing project inspired by this lovely pattern. This pattern came about in collaboration with Disney's 1950 film Cinderella and JC Penny. They came together to create one of the most beautiful apron sewing patterns I have ever seen. The illustrations inside this pattern are simply beautiful. And I have kept my eye out for this apron pattern for several years and stumbled upon it at a really good price, so I had to snatch it up. The pattern isn't anything groundbreaking or overly crazy, it is just a simple apron, but I just had to see what the official Cinderella apron looked like, so that is what we will be making today. I'm going to be honest and say I actually started filming this video in March of 2020 on a very rainy day. I have completed this project in February of 2021 on another very rainy day. I wanted to make sure that the fabric I chose for this project was absolutely perfect. I wanted it to be Cinderella inspired, but I didn't want it to look like Walt Disney just hit you over the head with Cinderella. I ended up going on Spoonflower and finding this fabric. And I will put the creator's name down here and of course a link to them if you want to get this for yourself. It was absolutely perfect. It was just the right amount of subtle and Cinderella. I'm a sucker for anything blue so I ended up getting two meters off this fabric. As there was no way I was going to cut up this pattern, I ended up using some toil and I traced the pattern onto that and used that as my pattern pieces. Using my freshly made pattern pieces, I cut out the pieces of fabric that I needed, which included the apron front and back panels and the waistband plus pockets. Oh, you know this is a good pattern when it comes with pockets. And then I waited a year. And then I continued with the pattern. I started by attaching the apron side panel to the front. I added the pockets, which I absolutely love. They are not as deep as some pockets, but you can definitely keep a few secrets inside them. I gathered the apron and attached it to the waistband, finished off all the seams, and completed the waistband with the ties at the back. Bippity boppity boo, she was done. One of the best things about this apron pattern is that it gives you so many notes on how to adjust the waistband and the gathering to your waist size. I was very lucky that the original size that they gave you with the correct measurements was my exact waist size, so I didn't have to adjust anything, but the instructions seemed super simple, so if you are of a various waist size, you can definitely adjust this pattern to match you. I love how this apron wraps all the way around to the back, how thick the tie is, the pockets, the size. Maybe if it was a tiny little bit longer, but looking at how Cinderella looks in the original illustrations wearing this pattern, I would say that it is pretty much on point. This is now my new favorite apron. I love it. I cannot get over how cute and whimsical it is. I really want to wear her in a future cooking video, so I'm hoping you'll see her again very soon. I love how on the pattern they give you so many ideas and examples of what you can do with a simple pattern. They give you ideas of different trims, of how to tie the waistband. I think that is so cute. It shows how something so simple can be really made to customize and suit you and your personality, as well as your personal preferences. And that is all I have time for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have loved having you here. As always, if you'd like more information about this pattern, the process of making it and how I went, you can find all that on my blog, which is linked in the description box below. I have absolutely loved having you here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe and join me on all my vintage adventures. I'd love to have you along for the journey. I will see you guys all next week. 
But until then, be kind, be true, be you, and I will see you then. Bye. What is this madness?